So then, this is the last lesson in our masterclass. It's been a long time coming and we are finally here. And just as with any project that I work on, one of the last things that I will do is the color grading. And uh, it's also one of the more fun things to, to do on a project. You know, you've done all the hard work and uh, anything we do from now is just kind of icing on top of the cake. So let's get a new adjustment layer. And on this, I'm going to go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen. And let's set this to Fast Blur. I will set the radius to 50, repeat edge pixels always, and I'm going to set the mode to add. This is going to just uh, diffuse everything and uh, this is one of the ways I like to create uh, a small amount of glow. I'm going to reduce the opacity to 30 so it's not too strong. Then I can get another adjustment layer go to effect, color correction, and I want to get a levels adjustment. And uh, we can use this to dial back in some, uh, some of that contrast. So between these two layers, this is what's happening. Just a slight glow effect and an increase in contrast. At this stage, I can create a new solid. Let's uh, set this to black. I'm going to go to the mask up here. Let's get the ellipse tool. Just double click this and set it to subtract. Uh, and then if you press F, you can bring up the feathering. This needs to be quite high. So maybe 500 and just lower the opacity of the whole layer to about 30. And this is going to be our slight vignette effect. Darken the edges a little bit to bring more focus to the center. Let's grab another adjustment layer and uh, we're going to make some color adjustments so go to effect color correction and color balance we want a lot of blues in the in the shadows so let's set the shadow red balance to negative 10 and uh, the shadow blue balance set this to positive 10. i'm going to do the same for the midtones so negative 10 for the red and 10 for the blue and then in the highlights, maybe we can bring back some of the warmth. So I will set the red balance to 10 and the blue balance to negative 10. I definitely want to take preserve luminosity just because I think the colors end up looking a little bit richer and uh, more contrasty. I'm going to add uh, an exposure adjustment, make this just a little bit brighter. So go to the exposure and set this to maybe 0.25 and uh, maybe make it even brighter. Let's go to effect, uh, color correction and levels. And uh, let's pull some of this to the left. And uh, I can just check what the other frames look like. And we seem to be pretty good all around. Go to effect, noise and grain and add some noise. And uh, this is gonna be set to something quite low just five would do. And uh, you probably cannot see the effects of this whilst watching this on, uh, on YouTube or Vimeo because of the, the video quality, but uh, it just adds some texture into, into the whole frame. And that is it. This is the final project. We have taken this literally from the very, very beginning, um, starting by drawing up those splines and then we worked on the 3D work uh, in Cinema 4D and uh, really went into some really advanced tools. And then we just spent the last hour or so just uh, making sure this looks as best as it can inside of After Effects. And this is the result. So thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. It was fun working on this and uh, recording all these uh, sessions. And I hope that you've learned a lot of new things which can now be part of your own um, arsenal of skills and techniques uh, which can take your, your projects up uh, up a level. But that is it from me. I will see you next time.